Good evening. Perth has just set a record for electricity consumption with power demand spiking as we struggle to cope in the searing heat. The record was set just moments ago, 4,287 megawatts of electricity. The demand was driven by our hottest February day in 19 years. We hit a top of 42.5 degrees at 36 minutes past three and right now it's still 39.2 degrees. And there's more extreme heat to come. Construction workers downed their tools early today. Unions pulling the pin at Perth Stadium before midday. The extra bodies indoors contributing to record power usage as Perth turned to aircon to keep cool. I would say it's a surprise to us that we've gone past the previous record by such a high amount. Um, however, it is a very hot time and does reflect the demand for energy in such a hot heat wave as we're experiencing at the moment. At four o'clock this afternoon, we were using more than 4,100 megawatts. The system straining even further an hour ago, churning through 4,264 megawatts, a new record. Tomorrow should be an even bigger day for us. Um, we do need to plan very carefully for it. Western Power has made sure that we've eliminated all planned outages to the absolute maximum extent we can. Others stuck outside, tradies right across Perth working up a sweat. Shouldn't have to work in it, I think. I'm packing up, I've had enough. Just two days into the heat wave with three more to come, it will slow down construction work every day until Thursday tipped to top 40 degrees. We've got jobs booked up and any delays causes an issue, but you know, you, you, the guys will die. Like it, you can't work in this heat. But it didn't slow down the dockers suiting up for a two and a half hour training session. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Um, yeah, we're no excuse football team. We should get the job done. The heat engulfed us early today, already 31 degrees by 8 a.m., 39 at midday, and three o'clock saw Perth City peak at 42. Just a few brave enough to hit the coast nearby at Hillary's. More people flocking to our southern beaches, patiently waiting for a late sea breeze which didn't roll in until 4 p.m. Despite the unbearable heat, the education department says there will be no days off for students. All public schools in the metro area are now air conditioned. Unfortunately for the students here at Melville Senior High School, there was a power outage around midday, meaning they had to sit through 40 degree heat. Thankfully, it was only out for 20 minutes. The water park at Elizabeth Quay back in action today after five days in maintenance thanks to an amoeba scare, although it didn't appear to be running at full capacity, perhaps a good thing for our dwindling dams. And the summer heatwave is sending water consumption through the roof. Jerry DeMassey is at the State Water Control Centre tonight. Jerry, we're turning on the taps too much. Tim, we did blow the budget for water consumption over the weekend. Now we use just over a billion litres of water on Saturday. On Sunday we used 1.2 billion litres. That's almost 100 million litres over the target and that only includes the weekend. It doesn't take into account today's water usage, which was of course the hottest day so far in this heatwave. Those figures will be released tomorrow. We may be on track for a record. Now we still uh, have a few more hot days to come. So the Water Corporation is reminding everyone to please do their bit to be water wise, including using a pool cover which can save up to 55 litres of water a day and of course only using your sprinklers on your rostered watering days. Tim. All right, Jerry, thank you. The hot weather's forced our trains to slow down to stop the rails warping. Kate McPherson, there was a go slow policy right across Perth today. Yes, Tim. Well, as temperatures soared, our trains did slow. When it reached 39 degrees, they were travelling at around 20 kilometres an hour, less than their top speed. When it hit our maximum today, they were travelling at around 30 kilometres an hour, less than they usually do. Now, these delays have resulted in... Um, delays across all lines this evening for commuters, uh, though some passengers were just taking it in their stride. It is going a bit slower today, but it's very comfortable, beautiful air conditioning on there. Didn't bother you at all? No, no. Perfect. Five minutes late, but it doesn't matter. It might be a while before it comes. Oh. I hope not too long. Though. 
Now, the Mandurah and Joondalup lines are experiencing the longest delays, again, with temperatures reaching maximums of around 42 degrees tomorrow. Commuters can expect long delays again tomorrow evening. A the Public Transport Authority says that they do order the trains to slow down for public safety and make sure that they don't derail. Back to you.